Welcome to another episode of Soul Line Success and today I wanted to talk to you about what it truly means to step up as a spiritual messenger during this great awakening. What's really required of you to be a spiritual messenger in 2020 and beyond is not going to win you votes and it's not going to win you friends and it may very much polarize your audience. So over the course of my career as a spiritual coach, I've been called everything from a Satan worshiper to a racist to um, being accused of channeling the devil and Satan and things like that. And, these accusations were coming from the Christian community and the spiritual community. And so as a spiritual messenger, you are going up against dogmas that have been in place to control through fear for thousands of years. As a spiritual messenger, it is not required that you have fully integrated the wisdom that's coming through, but it is required that if you're gonna step onto the path of service, that you don't question the divine messages that are coming through and that you take action on them in full faith. And you recognize that this is not a popularity contest and what you're going up against is an entire civilization, entire humanity that is waking up to higher levels of consciousness in waves. But until there's a tipping point, the majority of the population is not. And there is going to be a lot of backlash for the messages that you share. I was just invited to speak on um, a virtual conference called the Unfollow um, Summit, I think, something along those lines. And it immediately resonated with me because the goal of the spiritual messenger is not to appease the masses that you are here to help wake up. And that means that you're not here to be everybody's friend and be liked. This is your personality self that is looking for validation outside of yourself. So it's really, really important to tap into your soul, to tap into the essence of who you are, come into the present moment and get out of your way, get out of your ego, stop playing small and share the wisdom and the truths that are coming through, even when, and I would say especially when, it makes other people uncomfortable or gets you unfollowed or um, uh, criticized, can you know, all of this is gonna happen because people don't know how to handle the hate and the fear and all of the emotions that are coming to the surface. And they're gonna deal with them in the best way that they know how. And they're definitely not gonna wanna see you triggering their belief systems, but that's what you're here to do. And so I just wanted to share that today. If this resonates, I'm not sure who needs to hear it. Somebody does. And um, if you have any questions or comments for me, please throw them below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you are really looking to share your message and build a purpose-driven, mission-driven business around your gift and your message so you can be fully sustainable in your mission work, then that is what I'm here to help you do. Sign up for my Soul Aligned Success Masterclass. That is the link below this video, wherever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you again in another episode very soon. Namaste.